Hello everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be covering Visor. Now, Visor was highly requested in the DeFi Innovation Discord community. If you do want to join that and contribute and learn more about DeFi, I'll link that below. It's completely free and open to anyone. Now, as I mentioned, covering Visor is something that was highly requested because what it does is very exciting, very novel, and pretty profitable. So Visor automates your Uniswap V3 liquidity positions for you, so you don't actually have to manage that concentrated liquidity range yourself anymore. Now we have a lot to go over in this video, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. So as you can see here, I'm on Visor's website, um, and I do wanna show you how their automated liquidity actually works, because I think that's going to make everything a little more clear just right off the get-go. So as you can see here, this is the ETH USDT pair. This is actually the pair I tested out myself. And you can see how the concentrated liquidity automatically moves around the price of ETH relative to USDT. So here we can look at the historical concentration of the liquidity, and you can see that it did pop out of range uh, around the 20th here, the price of ETH dipped low enough that it was below the lower band. Uh, but you can see that uh, Visor actually does a pretty good job of maintaining an appropriate range for ETH USDT with this specific vault. Just to go over what's happening right now, we can uh, see the current price of ETH here. Uh, you can see the upper band and lower band, so you can see it's about a $700 range that they're providing liquidity for for this pair. So at a very high level, that's basically how Visor works. It aggregates ETH and USDT deposits, and it's going to automate the liquidity management in Uniswap v3. That means it's constantly going to be rebalancing itself and reallocating itself along the price curve. Now here you can see I'm on the main active liquidity page and there's tons of different pairs right now that you can choose to deposit your funds into and provide liquidity on V3 for. Now I did cover this in my Uniswap V3 liquidity video, I'll link that in the top right, uh, but you can see that the APRs are actually very, very high for just providing simple liquidity. So these aren't incentivized with the Visor token, these are purely the APRs you get from providing liquidity, and you can see that for a lot of pairs they're very, very high. Now with that ETH USDT vault that I was testing out, I should mention that I actually did receive the APR that was advertised, so I do trust these APRs, and although they're based on historical volume in Uniswap v3 pools, uh, that said, they were pretty accurate for me. Now, of course, the APR is going to be dependent on how well Visor actually can concentrate your liquidity, and it's also going to be dependent on two other things, and that's how much volume is there in the Uniswap pool, and also how much liquidity is being provided on Visor and uh, just straight on Uniswap v3. With that said, Visor's goal is to really optimize your liquidity position, so their goal is to provide more concentrated liquidity and to be able to react better to the market than you would be able to manually. In just a bit, I can show you some data on how well they've actually performed. Now, this is probably a great place to start talking about the Visor token. So you can see here there's a Visor vault where you can single stake Visor, and you can see there's an APR attached to that. So if we go back to Visor's main page, you can see that Visor basically takes in protocol revenue and distributes that back to Visor stakers. So uh, Visor takes 10% of the Uniswap v3 fees and uses that to purchase Visor and distribute it to Visor stakers. This is obviously quite a compelling model, and we could imagine that as Visor grows in TVL, there's a lot of purchasing pressure on the Visor token itself, which theoretically would boost the price of Visor. One thing I did want to mention is it's actually a bit difficult to find uh, documents on the tokenomics for Visor itself. Now, I did speak to a Visor team member and went in the Visor Discord and was asking about the Gitbook docs. It's something they're working on, but they haven't yet released yet, so uh, maybe you want to hold off before using Visor or potentially investing in it uh, until those Gitbook docs are public. Now, one interesting thing I want to note if you go about providing liquidity is that to deposit into the hypervisors, as they call it, you have to make Mint an NFT smart vault. Now this is a term they coined, and I will link the Medium post below if you want to read more about it, but uh, simply put, the Visor NFT is a user-controlled contract vault uh, which holds your assets for you. So this basically allows Visor to reallocate your funds and move them around and concentrate your liquidity. All of that is done while you can maintain full self-custody over your assets, which is obviously great. Now one thing I did want to touch on briefly is you can see these APRs are very, very high 
which is great. So that might be compelling for a lot of you. But one thing that we can't actually model out is the impermanent loss that you might face with these pools. Now, as I've mentioned before, I don't typically worry about impermanent loss, but with Uniswap v3, everything operates a bit differently. Essentially, the more concentrated your liquidity range is, the more impermanent loss you'll face. And because these pairs are more concentrated, because Visor is concentrating them for you, theoretically, you could expect a little more impermanent loss uh, with a Visor pool. This is something to keep in mind. Again, it's going to be nearly impossible to actually calculate what impermanent loss you could expect to face because the tightness of these ranges is always going to change. And of course, we can't predict future price movements. But it is important to just note that and keep in the back of your mind that there is risk associated with depositing in these vaults. Aside from smart contract risk and general price exposure to these speculative assets, you're also going to be taking on impermanent loss risk. Now on the topic of impermanent loss, they actually have some very cool developments that they've announced um, and covered briefly in this Medium post, so I did want to bring that to your attention as well. So Visor recently raised $3.5 million to fund further development, and there's some really exciting uh, proposals that they've outlined, which I do want to cover, but briefly I do want to highlight um, at the start of the article they list out a few very interesting stats. And the first is that over half a million dollars in Uniswap fees have been distributed to Visor stakers, which I think is very cool. Now another thing I want to highlight is something that's gone around Twitter a lot. So there's been a lot of talk over whether a Uniswap v3 LP position can really ever outperform a v2 position. Now Delphi Digital actually put out some data on this, which Visor highlights in this post, and I think it's very helpful. So at the bottom here, we can see the legend. Uh, the pink is the Charm Alpha Vault. That's a competitor to Visor. Green is Visor. Uh, gray is just holding ETH. And then blue is the Uniswap V2 uh, fee example. Now this chart here represents a ETH USDT pair. And you can see actually that Visor is the highest performing of all the three other alternatives. Now this is very reassuring for a couple reasons. Uh, the first is that these are new strategies. So Visor is still fine tuning and refining uh, their gamma strategy, which is how they balance their liquidity. But the second thing is that Visor right now is currently only on mainnet, which is obviously very expensive when you're managing uh, Uniswap v3 pools and constantly allocating uh, capital on different price curve ranges. But obviously this is very reassuring that Visor outperforms Uniswap v2 so early on. I would expect uh, them to continue optimizing their strategy and improving the APR. Now the next thing they talk about is how they're actually going to be using some of this fundraising to help deploy on L2. Now, in this Medium post, there's just a little bit of info, but they also posted another research report, which will, of course, be linked below about how much more cost effective Visor will be uh, once they're deployed on L2 like Optimism. Now, I recommend reading the whole article, but I do just want to highlight the key point here that there will be a 92% reduction in management costs once Visor is deployed on Optimism. Now, what this means is that the Visor strategies will certainly be more profitable just because Visor is spending less on gas to constantly manage those Uniswap v3 positions. Now, one very interesting thing I wanted to cover was the impermanent loss insurance that Visor is working on with Gamma. Now, Gamma Strategies is funded by Visor, so the two work very closely together, uh, but I'm not exactly sure what the nature of their relationship is like. With that said, as I mentioned before, impermanent loss is very hard to calculate or predict with Uniswap v3, especially with an actively managed concentrated position. Again, I will link this article below, but the most important thing you need to know is that Visor is actually working on impermanent loss protection markets. Now, this is something that I think could be hugely popular. I think a lot of people would love to use a tool like Visor to capture those high APRs for providing liquidity on V3, but they're just frankly concerned about IL. Now, I understand this concern, which is why I think something like this could be really a huge hit, and I think one of the first of its kind. A couple things I did want to note about this fundraise. Uh, the first is that there's not too much publicly available, so we don't actually know if this was a token sale or an equity sale or some combination of both, so just something to keep in mind. As I mentioned before, hopefully those Gitbook documents explaining the full details behind the tokenomics come out soon. I also wanted to mention that part of this fundraising will go to further audits. In the early stages of Visor, which was actually just a couple months ago, I think, there was a small exploit, but uh, all funds were returned to users, which is very reassuring. Since that exploit happened, there has been an audit that was successfully conducted for Visor. Now, with all of that said, I think Visor is a very exciting project. I've looked at a few other liquidity concentrators for Uniswap v3, and right now I think Visor is really ahead of the game. I'm also very excited about the fundraise they just did and the future development 
performance and products that they're working on. I think if we can combine Visor on an L2 like Optimism with impermanent loss insurance, uh, this protocol could really become a staple of DeFi. Now, obviously it's still quite early and we don't know which of these uh, V3 concentrators will succeed, but uh, right now I think Visor is definitely a strong contender. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe and then hit the notification bell so you're alerted as soon as I release a new video. Now thank you all so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.